Heavenly Father, we gather in your presence today, seeking to draw closer to you through your word. Open our hearts and minds to receive the wisdom and guidance that you offer. May your spirit inspire us to live out our faith with compassion and humility. Strengthen our commitment to serve others and help us to recognize your presence in the world around us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading 1, Isaiah chapter 35 verses 4 to 7. Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then will the lame leap like a deer, and the mute tongue shout for joy. Water will gush forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand will become a pool, the thirsty ground bubbling springs. In the haunts where jackals once lay, grass and reeds and papyrus will grow. Reading 2, James chapter 2 verses 1 to 5. My brothers and sisters, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ must not show favoritism. Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and a poor man in filthy old clothes also comes in. If you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say, here's a good seat for you, but say to the poor man, you stand there or sit on the floor by my feet. Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my dear brothers and sisters, has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised those who love him? Gospel, Mark 7 verses 31 to 37. Then Jesus left the vicinity of Tyre and went through Sidon, down to the Sea of Galilee and into the region of the Decapolis. There some people brought to him a man who was deaf and could hardly talk, and they begged Jesus to place his hand on him. After he took him aside, away from the crowd, Jesus put his fingers into the man's ears. Then he spit and touched the man's tongue. He looked up to heaven and with a deep sigh said to him, Ephatha, which means be opened. At this, the man's ears were opened, his tongue was loosened, and he began to speak plainly. Jesus commanded them not to tell anyone, but the more he did so, the more they kept talking about it. People were overwhelmed with amazement. He has done everything well, they said. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. Lord, we thank you for your endless mercy and the promise of healing and restoration. Open our hearts to receive your grace and to share your love with others. Help us to act with justice and compassion, showing no favoritism but treating all people with the dignity they deserve. May we always trust in your power to transform our lives and the world around us. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.